Vegeta does not need Ultra Instinct in the Tournament of Power to be a boss, to get an amazing moment, to protect Goku, to put down Topo, but seemingly Toei wants to push that on him, but they don't even want to push that on him in a legitimate way. They just want to make him look stupid. So today I'm going to be reading you guys some spoilers for episode 117 of Dragon Ball Super. I'm almost at a loss of words because I probably made back-to-back -back videos about Vegeta getting the spotlight, getting a really sweet moment in this arc, and these spoilers completely shut down pretty much any hope of that because they made Vegeta just look stupid, like dumber and dumber by every single freaking episode. I don't even know what to say. Dragon Ball Super episode 117, Showdown of Love, the Androids vs. Universe 2, so this is the stuff we get before Vegeta does what he does. Um, the Android combo rescues Goku from danger. And you might be thinking danger as in K-Flow, what kind of danger? So, moving on, Rip Rian targets Goku right as he's worn out from fighting. So, two things here. Um, I don't really want to see Rip Rian, but unfortunately she is the bad girl of the episode. She's the one that we really got to worry about. She's targeting Goku. And two, seemingly k is, by this point in time, possibly defeated. Because if Rip Rian's targeting Goku... I mean, you know, we, we were just watching Goku and Kefla fight, so how are we going to go from Kefla to Ribrianna unless Kefla <laughs> ain't around anymore? Uh, but then 17 and 18 appear, so I'm actually really excited to see the androids come in and possibly work together, you know, kick some Ribrianna booty. Um, 18 takes Goku's place in battling Ribrianna, while 17 takes on Rosie in one-to-one -one combat. So, they're actually going to split my bad. They're not going to... Well, they might work together, but clearly they got different opponents in this episode. Uh, can the two of them prevail against Universe's 2 strongest? So, Universe 2 seemingly is probably going to get eliminated soon, because if the androids are going up against the two strongest, and we've already seen Ribrianna and Rosie, we already know like what kind of fighting style they have, we already know what their power level is, they are, you know, honestly, if you put them on our team, they'd probably be in the lower half. So I'd assume Android 18 and 17, it might be a challenge for them, but in the end, they're going to pull through and get us that win. Now, this is where I, as a Vegeta fan, feel like Toy is kind of trolling me right here, okay? So Vegeta this weekend, they're referring to episode 117, in order to use Ultra Instinct... So, Vegeta, they're set on making Vegeta use Ultra Instinct, or at the very least, Vegeta now, he is, you know, he has Ultra Instinct in his mind, he wants to use it, right? Vegeta mimics Goku and tries to act unconsciously. You see, the way they wrote that, and I'm assuming, you know, there's more to this than meets the eye when we actually see it in episode 117, it might be a little bit different, but the way they're talking about Vegeta using Ultra Instinct, like he's trying to copy Goku and he's trying to do it like unconsciously, it makes Vegeta honestly kind of look pathetic. It's like he hasn't really gotten a moment at all, and in the anime they've been letting us down as far as power-ups go, and now he's here gonna try and copy Goku in the Tournament of Power when he doesn't need Ultra Instinct, and I'm cool with Vegeta getting Ultra Instinct sometime down the line, but he really doesn't need it right now. So why not give Vegeta his own unique thing that makes sense for him? Why have him try to copy Goku in the middle of the Tournament of Power? And again, like, we've been talking about Vegeta's big moment in the Tournament of Power. We've been talking about, like, what is he going to do? He's definitely planning something. He's got something up his sleeve. That's why he's so confident. I mean, before the arc started, right, he had plans of being the last one to survive. But how is he going to survive without a game plan if he's just here trying to copy Goku? and failing. So, the spoilers continue. However, ultimately he fails and is attacked by Kato Pesla, basically the, the bootleg Power Ranger, right? So he fails, he can't copy Goku, and now he's attacked by bootleg Power Ranger. I really hope this is one of those situations where they don't want to drop everything on us and they're giving us little tidbits like Vegeta Ultra Instinct, you know, that would get a lot of us excited because in the end, you know, Vegeta achieving Ultra Instinct, that would be dope, right? I would love to see Vegeta fight on par with Goku, go at the same enemies that Goku goes at because if he doesn't have Ultra Instinct, how is he going to fight some of these same dudes? It wouldn't make sense, right? But at the same time, it's misplaced. He does not need Ultra Instinct right now. And guess what, man? If Vegeta takes his own route and maybe he doesn't get Ultra Instinct and they give him something equally as good but different, you know, uh, separate but equal, that would be even better. Because that way, we can look to Vegeta as someone that has his own unique identity and not just someone that's a Goku clone but not as good and he gotta copy Goku and he can't even do that. I know this sounds bad, but I feel like a lot of DBZ theorists out there um, could write some of the stuff better than what toye has been writing. And at the same time, I feel like Toye is making Vegeta look kind of weak. Like, I'm not gonna beat around the bush. 
they are kind of making him look weak. Not weak enough to drop out to Cato Pesla, the, the policeman in spandex, and it's kind of like, at the end of the day, he fails, he can't go Ultra Instinct, and they make it like a highlight, like, BAM! Like, Vegeta now attacked by Kato Pesla, like, what is he gonna do? We just literally saw him and Topo going at it, so what I'm hoping will happen is Vegeta knocks this dude out, we get rid of all these guys like Ribrian, Rosie, anybody else who clearly isn't posing any challenge to the overall, like, dominance in the Tournament of Power. Vegeta working on Ultra Instinct, I'm actually pretty excited because it's still an upgrade nonetheless. But how is he going to fail? That's that's what I'm really curious. Like, how is he going to fail specifically? And that really goes to show you, like, Vegeta, he might have acted super cool when Goku was going at Jiren, and possibly because he's more worried about his family and the fate of the universe, but he's still looking up to Goku, right? He still sees Goku, and he's like, dang, that Kakarot, man, one step ahead of me every single time. And this time, he's willing to, you know, drop all of his pride and literally mimic him. Try to copy Goku, right? Now, if they set this up in a way to where Vegeta needs some major power-up and Ultra Instinct is on the table because he just saw Goku use it, and maybe he's not sure of himself and his own power, but he's like, you know what? I don't really want to do this, but I need to protect my family and friends, and I need this against Topo. I need this to help Goku in his fight against Jiren. That's one thing, and what could end up happening is, because Vegeta fails uh, obtaining Ultra Instinct, that's where he starts to look for other solutions, and maybe that's where he gets his own unique power-up. Maybe completed Super Saiyan Blue that way. Okay, Ultra Instinct didn't work, I need to try something else. That would be actually pretty good writing. But all we could tell off these spoilers is he's going to try to get Ultra Instinct and he can't do it just because he's not Goku. He's just not that good of a fighter and that's why he can't achieve Ultra Instinct when Ultra Instinct and Vegeta should not be spoken of in the same sentence in this arc. They don't need to give him Ultra Instinct right now, so I don't even know why they're taking it in that direction. Anyways, tell me what you guys think. Ultimately, yes, I would love to see Vegeta get Ultra Instinct. What do you think about the timing, though? Do you really think this is the time to give Vegeta the same power-up that Goku has when we just saw Goku use this for the first time against Jiren? 